So yesterday, something really crazy happened to me. I split my lip right here, and then blood started to run all the way down my chin. So I quickly, you know, went and grabbed a napkin and I dabbed it up. You know, I was trying to clean it up. And then I started to think. I say, Demarcus, how did this happen? Like, this is the first time ever that your lip split wide open. What happened, Demarcus? And I started to think. And I say, oh, you know what? Seasons change and it's getting cold outside. I believe it was the cold weather that cracked my lip. Then I started thinking a little more. I say, well, I don't really feel them. They ain't really been dry. Then I started to think a little harder and I nailed it. I realized something. <laughs> this, the crack happened when I was in the middle of a sneeze. <laughs> you feel me? Because see, when, whenever you sneeze, you vulnerable. All your expression, you make all ugly expression. You know, you spread your lip out. You do all kind of stuff whenever you sneeze. You know what I'm talking about. You be looking crazy when you sneeze. And see, at that moment, my lips split open. Why is that? Because not only has the weather changed, but it was dry and I sneezed. And I realized something. You know what, Demarcus? You wasn't prepared. So I looked around. I didn't see no Carmex, no Vaseline, anything. So immediately I went to the store. I got a three pack. I ain't got time to be to be buying the one pack. No, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the whole season. And what I want you to understand right now is see the season that you're going into, you're going to have to change some things. You see the way the enemy may attack in that season may be different from this season. So are you covered all around? Right now I got that core mix all over my lips, man. I, I, about five minutes ago, I looked just like I bit into a big piece of chicken. Looked like greasy everywhere. I ain't care because I'm more concerned about my lips than how I look to you. You might laugh at me. But you understand what I just went through. Because if I end up sneezing again and I crack it again, it's going to be a bigger crack right there. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to be the dude to walk around with a big old crack on it. You know what I mean? How that look? You say what's up to somebody and they got blood sitting right. Come on, man. <laughs> but check it out, though. Every day you spend time with God, that's lathering your lips up for this season. And, and see, when the enemy try to attack you, he can't penetrate it because, see, you're you're marinated in the word of God. And what God wants you to do is spend time with him and develop a personal relationship with him. Get into the scriptures, memorize you some scriptures so that whenever the attacks come, you have something to fight back with it. See, when you squeeze an orange, what's going to come out when you squeeze an orange? Orange juice. Good job. When you squeeze a lemon, what's going to come out of that lemon? Lemon juice. You squeeze the apple, what's going to come out the apple? Apple juice. Oh, watch this, watch this. When a situation squeezes you, what's going to come out of you? Guess what the answer is? Whatever you've been putting in. Some people, all they got is curse words and stuff to fly. All they got is bitterness that, that's going to come out. They're going to blame this person. You know, the squeeze of life is on. First thing they want to do, I'm blaming him. I'm blaming her. I'm blaming them. It's their fault. They did this. Nah, 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 nah. When a situation squeezes you, the word of God need to ooze out. See, a situation squeeze me. Oh, first John 4-4 four, four come out. Not first John 4-4. Four, four, first John 4-4. Four, four. What that say, Demarcus? Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Then I start to get excited. Because see, that's my confession. And I changed the atmosphere of the room. Why is that? Because I took control with the word of God. I'm not going to allow myself to get down and have a pity party. No. Because you're going to go through some things in life, but you need to have the right stuff in you. And not only do you have the right stuff in you. See, the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. In other words, the Bible says life and death is in the power of the tongue. Listen to me. You got the power. You see, but you got to know that you got the power. You got me? If I had a big giant mansion, right? Let's say on 100, on 100 acres. You got me? And I gave you the keys and I say, hey, I'm going out of town this weekend. It's all yours. Have fun. Do whatever you want. Guess what? You got authority. That means you could go in the game room if you want. You could watch a movie. You go to the bowling. You could do whatever you want. You got the authority. The Bible says in Luke, uh, I believe chapter 10, verse 19, it says, behold, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. 
That's what Jesus is saying. He's giving you authority. Why is that? By way of relationship, because you have accepted Jesus Christ. Now you have the authority. So that's your game. You have the authority to speak to the enemy. And guess what? You win because you're in him. But you got to be able to walk in your authority. And, when, and see, when you walk in your authority, the enemy, he start running the other way. Because he say, dang, man, <laughs> they understand their authority. I can't pick on them like I used to. Because they're going to speak the word of God. When a situation squeeze you, the word of God better come out. I got my lips lathered up. Because I understand in this season, I'm, re I'm ready for whatever. And you, you need to be ready for whatever too. Get into that word and get the right stuff in you. So that it can flow out at the right times. I'm not sure who this was for, but I wanna say I love you and I'm with you. You may feel like nobody understands you. People are against you. People counted you out. But listen to me, whoever counted you out, they can't count. Because if they could count, they wouldn't have counted you out. Cause see, you a child of God. And last time I checked, God is undefeated. <laughs> God is undefeated. You got me? So that means you on the winning team. Put your jersey on. What, what number you want? Number 22? What no? You can have whatever number you want when it, in the kingdom. Put your jersey on. That's what God wants you to do. Put in the... Listen to me. I'm going to keep on going. You feel me? Don't worry about sitting on the sideline. Put your jersey on to get in the game, man. That's what God wants you to do. People spend so much time running from the enemy. Try, oh, I don't want the enemy to come out. No, spend your time running at the enemy. See, the roles changed. I want you to understand your authority. And you know you got the victory. Now you fight the fight, not for the position of victory, but from the position of victory. Now you attacking the enemy. Now you winning souls. Now you sharing the gospel. You're not, you're, you're not playing defense. You playing offense. Things change when you get that Carmex on your lips. I'm out here in the cold, man. I'm out here talking, spit flying everywhere. Why is that? Cause, cause I understand, ain't no crack, ain't no crack gonna penetrate. Cause I got the right stuff on. In the spiritual world, you got the right stuff on as well. I just want to say I love you. All right, I know my voice a little harsh, but it's all good. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep on making the videos, man. You know what I mean? I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the words. I got the right stuff on. Because that's right. You got the word of God over your... You got the word of God on your lips, man. <laughs> what would it say in Joshua? I believe chapter 1, eight, this book of the law should not depart from out of my mouth. Thou shalt meditate on it there in, day and night. In other words, always had a word on your lips. Speak about it. Marinate on it day and night, man. It's the word of God, man. It's powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. I could go on and on and on, man. But I know you got stuff to do today and I want to let you roll, all right? Hey, I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.